use the vertical workspace. All right, so to get started, let's assume that you have Premiere open, you've imported your clips, and you wanna create a sequence. So like I showed in my previous video on how to create sequences for vertical videos, I suggest to just find your main clip. So in this case, it's my vertical clip right here. I'm gonna right click on it and then just go up to new sequence from clip. That's gonna create a sequence here that matches the resolution and frame rate and everything of our main clip here. The issue is that the typical or default workspace in Premiere Pro does not really suit vertical footage. You can see all this dead space over here and here. And if we try and increase that area there, then we lose our timeline, etc. You can see that it's much more suitable for horizontal or landscape footage. So to make our workspace much better for working with vertical footage, let's switch over to the vertical workspace right here. If you don't see it, you can go over to this little button right here, workspaces, click on it. You'll see a bunch of different options. Just select vertical right here. You can also find it by going into window, workspaces, and down to vertical right there. So this is the one we want to use. When you click on that, your whole workspace is going to change. It's going to create a bigger zone here so we can see our vertical video much better while we're editing. And then our other panels will be over here, our clips our effect controls, Lumetri color, essential graphics, things like that up here, our timeline, and then our tools. Just a quick thing to take note of here, you'll notice that there's no source monitor anymore. There's only the program monitor because the source monitor is right here housed within the same panel. So I can click over to this and see my source one, which is attached to my clips over here. So if I double click on anything here, it's now gonna show up over here in the source monitor that I can still edit. So if I wanted a clip from here, I can you know slide this along, mark in or hit I on my keyboard, go to where I want it to end, hit this bracket or O on my keyboard, and I can click here and then drag it into my timeline. But note, it's still displaying as the source monitor. So as soon as I click over here, it's gonna jump over to program and I can watch my timeline here of all the clips that I'm trying to edit together. To watch other videos like this one and learn more about editing vertical videos, make sure to check out one of the videos linked on the screen right now.